Hello, I'm Dave Speakman. Today we're going to talk about how to transpose a blue scale or a pentatonic scale from this previous video here into a different key. So that I missed a video a week or two ago, it actually got um, pulled down. Um, it was an ACDC tune um, and it got pulled down because apparently it sounded too similar to the original record. We're looking at this scale. So also the blues scale. Okay. So if you don't know that scale, then please do go back to my previous lesson about that scale because this video relies on you knowing the information from that video. Essentially, all that we're going to do is we're going to move that up. So if we want to move the E minor scale to an F minor scale, we move the whole shape, so this is the note E, so that now becomes the note F, and then we move the whole shape so that's now F minor pentatonic. So the notes on your guitar go E, then F, there's only a one fret gap, and again I did a comprehensive video about this quite a while ago which I'll link here. So we've got E to F and then G is two frets higher, A is two frets higher than that, B is two frets higher than that, C is only one fret higher than B and then two frets higher to D, another two frets to E. We've halved the length of the string Therefore, the pitch goes up one octave. 82.4 hertz, 164.8 hertz. The string vibrates twice as fast now because it's half the length, so its frequency doubles. So just to go through that again, essentially, in C major, which is the white notes of a piano, we have semitones, so one fret gaps between E and F, and between B and C. And this is a fundamental aspect of music theory, really. So again, E, F, G, A, B, one fret to C, D, E. Now we can use that information to transpose this scale to whatever key we want to. So say if we want to play this scale as an A minor pentatonic scale, we're simply gonna move the scale up to fret five, because that's where the note A is, that's where the root is, the note that the scale is named after. And we're gonna play the scale now. So this is A minor pentatonic. Yeah. And then in exactly the same way as we did with the blues scale, we can add the blues note in. So adding in here, and adding in here, adding that blue note in gives us a blues scale, an A minor blues scale in this instance. So what about if we wanted something like B flat? Okay, so a flat just means that we move down one fret from that note. So we go E, F, G, A, B at fret seven, B flat at fret six. And now we've got B flat minor pentatonic. So if we had a tune that was in B flat minor, then we can yeah 
we can play that in that B flat minor shape. If we have a sharp then, that's the opposite. So a sharp is one semitone higher. So let's say we needed to play something in F sharp minor. Rather than it being here, for F, we'd go F sharp. Now this does raise a very good question, which is, isn't that just G flat? And the answer is, yes, it is. They are the same. It's what's called an enharmonic equivalent. They're the same note. G flat and F sharp are the same note. However, if we're in F sharp minor, that is the relative minor of the key A major. Whereas if you're in G flat minor, well, that's the relative minor of B double flat major. So you can see why F sharp minor is actually a more viable key than G flat minor. Essentially, it doesn't really matter how you think about it. I do tend to think of most things as being in flats, to be honest with you, because it's just the way that my mind works and it's the way that I learned when I was younger. And um, that's fine. So I probably would see this as being G flat minor, even though technically speaking from a textbook music sort of way, G flat minor is almost like an imaginary key. And this works for any other scales that you might have played. So if you've got a major scale, then you can move that major scale up to whatever key you want. So you can move that up to B flat. And then we've got a B flat major scale. My album came out on the 3rd of July. It's called The Dreams That Keep Me Awake. I'd really appreciate it if you listen to it. It's on Spotify, you can listen to it there. Please do check it out. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. This also works with moving certain chords as well then. And we're gonna be moving on to these chords in the coming weeks. So if we have the chord E, we can actually move that whole chord up by barring across here, and that becomes the chord F. So you can see that actually learning these notes on your bottom string is going to be essential to your learning on the guitar. It's really going to help you with everything. It enables you to just move things around on the guitar. So every time you learn a scale, you've learned 12 scales. Every time you learn a chord shape, so for example, if I take this finger off and it becomes E7, and now move this upper fret, and now that becomes F7, and we can move these through. I did another video about this actually, about bar chords, which I'll link here. Please do go and check that out. When you're ready to play bar chords, they're not as difficult as you think they are really. If anybody does have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your questions. Thank you very much for watching. Your support is very much appreciated. Thank you. Bye-bye.